Hello there, I am Sergio from Helisimmer.com and I'd like to welcome you to the weekly flyby. As usual, we will be covering last week's helicopter fly simulation news throughout the next few minutes. So sit tight and let's get it started. This week started with Flight Sim Expo's announcement that the schedule for the 2020 event is now out and we now have the list of speakers and lectures. According to the organization, quote, the 2020 schedule features presentations from flight instructor and author Rod Machado, air traffic controllers, the United States Air Force, home cockpit builders, community leaders, an NTSP investigator, and 10 exhibitors, end quote. Helisimmer.com will also be present, as I will not only be attending the event, but doing not one, but two presentations one about virtual reality and another one about building your skills as a virtual helicopter pilot. I would love to see some of you guys over there. Early this week, France VFR announced they were almost releasing a new CDU for Airfly FS2, Paris e de France. The team is not exactly new in the simming community. France VFR has been out there for quite some time doing some extraordinary work, especially and obviously in the form of scenery for France. Their work has been mainly covering FSX, prepared and explained, but now they have turned their eyes to Aerofly FS2. Aerofly FS2 has a lot of potential, and a lot of us who use it consider it to be the best VR experience out there right now. The sim is fluid, the graphics are quite pleasant, and despite the fact that it has only one official helicopter, plus the recently released Lynx, the helicopter flight model is quite nice. The scenery was released meanwhile, and you can find the links to purchase it on our website. Still in the subject of Flight Sim Expo, the presence of Elisimmer.com this year at the event has the support and sponsorship of the flight simulation company called Ryan Aerospace. For this year's event, I was invited to do two presentations like I said before, instead of just one like last year. On Saturday, I will be talking about helicopter flight simulation and on Sunday about virtual reality or VR. I would like to thank Ryan Aerospace for the sponsorship and helping cover a huge chunk of the expenses as the company is offering the plane ticket. This makes it easier for me to pre present as even with the support of the community, I usually need to put some money from my own pocket, which is the same as saying that I am taking it from my family budget. It's a great gesture of support, trust, and friendship from Ryan Aerospace. Thank you so much. If you don't know the company yet, do check them out. You can find the links on to the website where we'll be able to see some amazing flight simulation products on helisimmer.com. Or you can just head out to www.ryanaerospace.com.au. The week ended with three news around vSky Labs. The first one covers a review of the recently released R66 for X-Plane. Real-world pilot Nick Bates took a good look at the helicopter, and he tells us what's good and what's bad in the first turbine helicopter for Robinson that V Skylabs decided to bring to X-Plane. V Skylabs is still updating the helicopter as usual, and Nick focused in freezing one of the releases and writes about it. As the team continues to update the model, we will eventually revisit it, since a lot can, and possibly will, change. Check out the review on our website and stay tuned for any updates. The other V Skylabs related news is actually a repaint for the before mentioned R66. Community member Christoph Tanto released a very unusual repaint. Golf Lima India Kilo Kilo is a helicopter that's operating for a company called Elite, and delivery is nothing short of impressive. Christoph's work is top notch, and the reflection map he did is just crazy. The color scheme alone is insane and Christoph decided to make it even more hard for him, but so much more awesome to us. Grab this truly flabbergasting livery at our website and let us know what you think about it. The last news of the week, and also the last regarding vSky Labs, is an announcement about a new project unfolding. vSky Labs is still working on the Robinson family, but they have added yet another project to their production pipeline. The team is now also working on the Denali H3 Easy Flyer, a ultralight helicopter developed and built in Belgium. The project official name will be VSky Labs Test Pilot Denali H3 Easy Flyer, and VSky Labs will release the model in the two versions the manufacturer has available. The differences are a bit marginal, 
as both use the same engine, the Rotax 912, but in the 115 and 135 horsepower models. There are also some exterior changes, namely the tail design. As usual with the V-Skylabs models, the Denali H3 is being built on top of the experimental flight model and designed to be used with VR. According to V-Skylabs, the project for X-Plane was approved by the Denali Helicopter Company, However, it is an independent project which is not affiliated and or endorsed with or by the Denali Helicopter Company. And that wraps the week. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I truly hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a like and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget you can turn notifications on so that you don't miss a video. A lot of what we do is possible because of the support of our patrons. If you'd like to be one of our supporters, please head out to patreon.com forward slash alicimmer and learn how you can help us. Every bit counts. That's all for now. I hope you come back next week for another episode. Until then, take care and fly safe.